back of the shop. So today, me and the Chihuahua have got the Coventry die head going, and I want to take it on for the ride. This is my first time I've ever used one, and I'm quite excited that it's actually working, and uh, I was really it's so easy to use. So let's go and have a look what I'm making. Let me put this Chihuahua down. Right, so over here today, we've got this is what I need to machine or uh, thread today with the Coventry die head. We've got some, these are all studs out of a vintage engine. We've got some half inch studs. I believe they're five eighths of an inch studs. Uh, I think that one is too. This one's three quarter of an inch. So I've got my work cut out, but this Coventry die head's really working well. So here's the Coventry die set up. And before I could use this today, it was, it was actually C's. So I had to pull it all apart, weld it. Um, and that took a good couple of hours. And it's quite a bit of tension to pop it out of gear there, as you can see. And you've got to bang it to get it back in. Okay. Right, and then ready to thread. Now I've left the lever here. You can actually have a uh, so an oversized and undersized cut. I've just set it up here on the maximum opening and just adjusted this here and locked it. And I'm getting good success rate with it. So what we'll do now, we'll start up the lathe. I'll face this end here. So guys, remember safety first. Let's go. Okay. So let's face this. So I'll just file that a little bit with my lathe file. It is actually a lathe file. I'd like to give it a quick linish. Alright, so this time I'll start threading. But before I do that, I'll set up the parting tool so we can jump straight into parting and part it off. So I'll be parting these off just a little bit over 2 inch, which is 55 mil. So my parting tool is set. Right out, so. Okay, so I'll get Tash to shoot over the top here in a minute. And here's my Coventry die head. Put a little bit of oil on. So I'll show you that again. So it's set, ready to go. Slide it up. Now when I'm doing this, I'll lock the tail stock and I'll wind this in, I'll hand feed it. I'll stop at five turns, and it'll roughly another turn to disengage the commentary die head. So I'll bring this up close. Lock the tail stop. We're just gonna go down in the RPM. 72 RPM. All right, here we go. And I'll start feeding now. Engage and ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. There's our thread going up around 770, and we're parting off at just over two inches. So here's the finished thread and you can see it's a beautiful form here. I believe these are actually, uh, the dies and the Coventry head are actually Sutton tools. Um, I don't know how old they'd be, but uh, for those that don't know, Sutton tools is an Australian uh, tool company that make cutting tools. So drill bits, end mills, dies and taps, and they're quite good quality. And uh, it's just great to have an Australian manufacturer still alive here at the moment. And there we have it, there's our dirty old uh, nut. And uh, it, yeah, fits like a finger in a glove. Well there we have it, thanks for following along today with me on my journey, with my Coventry die journey. Um, 
it worked really, really well. And uh, like I said, it's the first time I've ever seen one, first time I've ever used one. So I'm just wrapped, okay? Uh, like I said, I came out here early in the morning and pulled it all apart, it was seized, got it working, so I'm glad that it worked. You can actually see it takes quite a bit of force for that Coventry die head to disengage. So you can only imagine with fine threads on probably brass and aluminium that you could run the risk of stripping that. Look, that's quite a big head, and I don't think you'd recommend for doing smaller parts. You'd have to drop down to a smaller size Coventry head. Right, I'll see you on the next video, and uh, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. These are all studs out of a vintage engine. And you all know who the real stud is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So.